I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Mr. Troxell. Yes, Council Pre um, Waterworks President. Uh, Rob Getzloff. Present. Councilwoman Robin Arvanitis. Here. Councilman Kevin Conley. Present. Councilman Caleb Johnson. Present. Councilman Tom Schmidt. Here. Attorney David Austin. Present. Fire Chief Robert Patterson. Here. Park Superintendent John Novosich. Here. IT Robbie Hansen. Here. Nice Engineering Neil Simstad. Public Works Director Andy Hansen. Not here. Director for Operations Jim Gorman. Here. Town Manager Robert Volkman. Here. Recording Secretary Robin Teal. Present. Clerk Treasurer Michael Troxell. Here. Thank you, Mr. Troxell. The Water Board uh, consists of three members uh, myself, uh, Robin Ivernite, and Kevin Conley. So we will exclude uh, Councilman Tom Schmidt and Councilman Caleb Johnson. Uh, from this roll call for the water board. Claims, any claims? No additional claims. Uh, there is no uh, old business and there is no new business, so I'll take any business from the floor regarding waterworks. Any business from the floor? Any business from the floor? Hearing none, this meeting is adjourned. We'll now go into redevelopment. All to order the Redevelopment Special Commission meeting for Monday, December 26, 2022. The time is 6.01 p.m. Uh, Redevelopment Commission consists of the entire town council, so we'll bring in council members Tom Schmidt and Caleb Johnson. Mr. Troxell, are there any ads for claims? There are no claims, Mr. President. Okay, any reports from staff or council members? No reports. Okay. We have no business. Any business from the floor regarding redevelopment? Any business from the floor? Hearing none, this meeting is adjourned. Good evening. I'd like to call the utility board meeting for a special meeting for Monday, December 26th at approximately 6.03 p.m. The roll call for the utility board stays the same as the redevelopment. First item on the agenda, any additional claims, Mr. Troxell? Uh, no claims, Mr. President. Thank you. No, we have no new business. And we have no old business. At this time, we'll take business from the floor regarding utilities. Is there any business from the floor regarding utilities? We'll move right into the town council meeting. I'd like to call to order the town council meeting for Monday, December 26, 2022 at 6.03 p.m. The roll call remains the same as the previous meeting of the utility board. First on the agenda would be claims. Are there any additional claims, Mr. Trossel? Uh, no, Madam President, no additional claims. Moving on, we have reports, starting with Chief Patterson. Do we have any reports? No reports. Do we have any reports, John Novosich? No reports. No reports. Mr. Simstead? No reports. Mr. Volkman? No. Mr. Gorman? I do have one report. Uh, it's mostly a request. Um, the town council back in October extended the coronavirus relief act to the employees for being off that expires at the end this Saturday actually I was looking to see if the council would consider um, going another quarter next year um, for that act we had uh, five cases of coronavirus in the town uh, this month month of December Madam President. Yes. Uh, Jim, did we do it uh, quarterly last time, three months? We did. Madam President, I'll move to approve uh, to extend the, uh, the uh, pay for the, for the people that get um, the disease from until uh, March 31st. Second. We have a motion, a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries five to zero. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to council reports. Um, I have something I would like to speak about. I'd like to take a moment 
to one more time announce the appreciation for our retiring town manager, Bob Volkman. While we know you don't care for limelight or attention, after 36 years of service, you definitely deserve it. I'd like to present you with a gift. And Bob, I didn't work with you for as many years as other people were, but to coin your phrase, we at the town of Sherville thank you. And we certainly got a lot of juice for the squeeze. Wow. I don't know if that's uh Sorry to see me go, or happy to see me go. <laughs> it, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, actually, if I go back, I've been involved in Sherville for 40 years. I got involved with uh, elections and the town council meetings and started in 1982. So it's been 40 years. Um, my wife and I, my wife Lynn, who's put up with all this time and all the meetings, I think I've, I've probably attended over probably 1,500 to 2,500 meetings in the time for the town of Sherville. And it's, it's kind of a bitter farewell. Uh, certainly it's time, but also I have, I have regrets for all the things that are still coming that I didn't get to see to fruition. Um, but I, I'd like to thank a few people. First, I'd like to thank Sherville for allowing me to hold this position for as long as I have. You know, for Sherville's fantastic community, and uh, if it wasn't for the residents, none of us would be here, because we wouldn't be needed. Um, next, I'd like to thank the town council. The Sherville has been blessed for having fantastic town councils. They work together, irregardless of their political affiliations. I, I can tell you honestly, in all of my tenure here as town manager, very, very few does politics even enter into a decision. It's always people, you know, five people doing the right thing for this community. So I, I'd definitely like to thank you for your leadership uh, to this town and to our staff. I'd like to personally thank Mike Troxell for all the mentoring that he's done over the years in uh, providing me guidance and fellowship and, be, and actually just being a good friend. Uh, apart from that, now I'd like to also thank our staff. I start with our department heads. We have fantastic department heads. They're very professional. Uh, we have our departments, police and fire, and our PSAP is without question one of the best and best in the area, if not in the state of Indiana. Uh, fire department has grown tremendously from, from volunteer in a non-call uh, department, and just in the tenure of being town manager to 20 fire now, they're on duty 24 hours a day, and uh, the department still needs to grow. We've got three man stations in town now, today. Uh, you know, a lot of times people would see a fire station in their neighborhood, and those were volunteer stations. The only time they were there is when they got the call. You know, I, I give credit to Bob Patterson for his leadership and, and the growth of that department over the years in providing emergency services to our community. The, uh, I can't, and that goes to all of our departments, uh, whether it's public works, the sewer, water sewer department, all of them do a fantastic job. You know, the, the public works, they're the ones that are there for us every day, taking care of the things that we need, taking care of our infrastructure, our roads, sewer, water. They take care of us. Those are the expectations of the community. That's what makes Sherville such a great place to live and raise our families. Well, we have outstanding engineering staff. I've worked with this gentleman, Mr. Neil Simstad from Nice Engineering for 22 years. 23 years, and uh, I, I, countless projects that are behind us, 
there are certainly are several projects that we're working on today that will come in the future. And I'd like to thank my wife for all the, <laughs> all the years of putting up with the meetings and the late, the late nights uh, and going, going along with that. I know that sometimes that was frustrating, but that's part of this job is to be there for the community. And lastly, Mr. Okay. Mr. Jim Gorman. You know, I, I met Jim uh, when he was working at the wastewater treatment plant. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person that believes in a secession plan. And as I, I reviewed all of our staff and watched all of our staff and the people that uh, I thought had the leadership capability to continue the progress that we've made in the town of Sherville over the last 30 years, he stood out among everybody else. And I don't know if I surprised him when I called him in to talk about it, but he's, he's worked with me for the last four years, and I feel very comfortable with Jim taking over as town manager. He's, uh, you know, I know you can, go, you can go outside and you can hire managers that have impeccable resumes, but they're always looking for the next place to go. I've, I've dealt with a lot of them through the state, and they're looking for their next landing spot. Here's a gentleman that has, is loyal to the community. Uh, he lives in the community, raised his family here, and will always be there. Sherville will be first for Jim Gorman. So I'd, I'd like to ask for a round of applause for Jim Gorman, who's going to be taking my place. He is certainly, I, you know, I, I don't know if he had second thoughts when he started working down here, because this is a very busy office, and there's a lot of things that go on in here that, you know, the general public has no clue of how complex it is to run a town, and how you get, I, I tell him, I says, you can have the best plan when you walk in the office in the morning, and that'll be out the window by 10 a.m., because the emergency of the day will be what you'll deal with. Uh, whether it's personnel, whether it's something out on the street, the weather, every, there's so many things that can, that can jump in front of you during the day and uh, take your time and your efforts that you need to solve. And uh, Jim has been here, like I said, working with me for four years after spending, what, 15 years, 30, uh, 27 years with the wastewater treatment plant, but as uh, superintendent. 10 years as superintendent down there. So certainly, I, I feel confident we are very in very good hands with uh, Jim at the helm. Um, and, and lastly, I'd like to just again thank the residents of Sherville. That's what everybody's here for. That's what this whole team is here for, is we're here to serve this community. That's our job. I tell everybody all the time, we're in the customer service business. And that's what our job is, is to take care of this town. And there's our police chief, Pete Sormaz. <laughs> and a, another fantastic department. Uh, the police department is by far, I think, the shine of one of the best departments in Lake County, if not the best department in Lake County, but probably one of the best in the state of Indiana as well. Certainly through his leadership, it, it has come a long way. Uh, what are we have 51 officers now. 51 officers. So again, thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, this was uh, kind of unexpected, but thank you all for being here. Thank you. Do we have any reports from any other council members? No, ma'am, no reports. No reports. So we move on to item four, a presentation, a dedication of a plaque for the Penzi Greenwell Trail honoring Don Powers.
I'd like to invite Mr. and Mrs. Fesco up to the podium, Tim and Frankie. <clears throat> Donald Powers, recognized as the primary developer in the town of Munster, including residential developments Twin Creek, Briar Creek, Market Square, and Fair Meadows additions in Munster, the latter being the largest in Munster's history. He was instrumental in the development of the Center for Visual and Performing Arts, the Veterans War Memorial and Community Hospital, as well as several retail establishments and commercial office buildings in Munster. Mr. Powers also developed the Briar Ridge Country Club and Plum Creek subdivisions that border this Pensy Trail. As a philanthropist and prominent civic leader, Mr. Powers served as a member of the Board of Trustees at Purdue University, director of both the Mercantile National Bank of Indiana and Northwest Indiana Public Service Company, and president of the Board of Trustees at Purdue University. Mr. Powers received the prestigious Sagamore of the Wabash awarded by two Indiana governors. Among his many honors, Mr. Powers received the Northwest Indiana Quality of Life Council's Lifetime Achievement Award and the Lifetime Achievement Award and the Entrepreneurial Excellence Award from the Northwest Indiana Small Business Development Center. Mr. Powers served as a fighter pilot in the Pacific Theater during World War II and Korean conflict and as a commander of the VC-61 unit aboard the USS Kearsarge. Thank you. We'll move on to old business. There is no old business, so we'll move on to new business. Item A, a public hearing. Do we have the proof of publication? Madam President, yes. yes. Um, the proof of publications have been advertised in the, both the Times and the Post on December 15th of this past year, of this year. I'd like to open the floor. What's the hearing on? Ordinance number 1991, an ordinance providing for additional appropriation in the park non-riveting fund of the town of Sherville for the year of 2022 and all matters related thereto. Madam President, yes. would you uh, just, uh, give Mr. Troxell the floor so he can explain this? Yes. Madam President, yes. This additional appropriation stated in your, in your introduction there is uh, for the uh, park non-riveting fund. It's a total of $135,000. Um, these are appropriations that we're appropriating f that of monies we received already this past year and it's for expenses that we need to uh, incur um, to cover those uh, uh, expenses that we've had this past year regarding the, uh, the park non-reverting fund. So. Thank you. Any comments? No comments? Okay, I'd like to close the floor. Madam President, Ordinance 1991, an ordinance providing for additional appropriations in the park non-reverting fund of the town of Sherville for, for the year 2022 and all matters related thereto, I move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion is approved, five to zero. Motion to adopt. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye carries five to zero. Thank I apologize. You. I did not do public comments regarding agenda items. Are there any public comments re regarding agenda items? Seeing and hearing none, we can move on. 
Item B, Ordinance 1989A, an ordinance amending the Town 2023 Salary Ordinance Number 1989 regarding the salaries and wages for officials and employees Lake County, Indiana, and repealing all other town ordinance or parts thereof in conflict herewith. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, this is an amendment to the salary ordinance that the town council approved earlier this month. Uh, an employee who was paid hourly that changed, they were changed to salary. There happened to be a part-time employee that was in that same line item. Obviously, that part-time employee cannot be salary, so we added a line to create for that part-time employee to be to remain hourly. Thank you. You're welcome. Move to approve, Madam President. Ordinance 1989A, second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries five to zero. Motion to adopt. Second. We have a motion and a second. No discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Item C, resolution 2022-20, a resolution to transfer funds within a category of appropriations. Madam President, yes, thank you. Uh, this is the uh, transfer of funds for the end of the year here to uh, address some of the, uh, to, to zero out some of our balances that we have to close out the end of the year. Thank you. Madam President, motion to approve resolution 2022-20. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? <clears throat> All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Item D, Resolution 2022-21, a resolution authorizing 2022 encumbered appropriations to be carried into the budget year 2023. Madam President, yeah, this is also an annual item that uh, to encumber some of our um, items to the next year here that we've uh, incurred for uh, 2022 into 2023. Thank you. Madam President, motion to approve resolution 2022-21. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Thank you. Item E, consider acceptance of LPA consulting contract between the Town of Cherville and DLZ Indiana LLC for the Kennedy Avenue project phase three. Thank you, Madam President. Um, through the request for proposal process with the Indiana Department of Transportation, DLZ Engineering scored the highest and they were chosen to design phases three and phase four of the Kennedy Avenue road construction project. Um, this, this contract's on the agenda tonight only for phase three. Um, phase three runs from Oak Street, runs north to Main Street, and uh, this uh, contract includes uh, project management, topographic survey, uh, survey planning, geotechnical, um, right-of-way acquisition, and numerous other things <laughs> that uh, it's, it's a pretty lengthy contract. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them for you. And uh, our representative, our project manager from DLZ is here tonight. She can also answer any questions if you do have any. Her name is uh, Tricia Nugent. There she is. <clears throat> Madam President. Yes. I have received a copy of the uh, contract. It's in standard form. It's a state form contract document, and it's been completed according to the terms by which the next phase is going to work. Thank you. Mr. Gorman, uh, DLZ is doing the first two phases as well, correct? They are. See, actually, CMT, that's the tracks project. It's doing CMT is doing it. That's in dots. That's right. engineer. I apologize. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Motion to approve. Sec. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Next on the agenda, we have appointments. I'm going to read through all the appointments, and then we will have a roll call vote at the end. So I'll start with Town Council President Tom Schmidt, Town Council Vice President Robin Arvinitis, Utility Board President Robin Arvinitis, 
Utility Board Vice President, Caleb Johnson. Redevelopment Commission President, Kevin Conley. Redevelopment Commission Vice President, Tom Rennett. Waterworks Appointment, it's a three-year term, Robin Arvanitis. Waterworks President, Rob Getzloff. Waterworks Vice President, Robin Arvanitis. Town Manager, Jim Gordon. Gorman, <laughs> correct myself, Jim. Attorney for the Town, Redevelopment Commission, Waterworks Board, Utility Board, Town Council, EDC, and Town Court. David Austin from Austin, Kuiper, and Attorney for the Plan Commission, Board of Zoning Appeals, and the Park Board, Alf Alfredo Estrada from Burke, Costanza, and Carberry. Attorney for the Board of Safety, Alfredo Estrada from Burke, Costanza, and Carberry. Town Engineer, Nice Engineering. Plan Commission appointment for a four-year term, Gary Imming. Plan Commission staff member appointment, one-year term, Tom Anderson. Plan Commission staff member appointment, one-year term, Chris Rack. Plan Commission staff member appointment, one-year term, Miles Long. BZA appointment, this is a Plan Commission member for a four-year term, Tom Koros. BZA appointment, this is a Plan Commission member for a four-year term, Bill Jarvis. Park Board appointment, appointment for a four-year term, Edgar Bassick. Board of Safety appointment, three-year term, David Edinburgh, Board of Safety appointment for a three-year term, Eric Graff. Southcom PSAP ex Executive Board member for a one-year term, Jim Gorman and Mike Troxell. Shared Ethics Advisory Commission for a four-year term, Sandra Davis. Liaison to the Park Board, the Park Foundation, and the Park Department, Robin Arvanitis. Liaison to Public Works, Tom Schmidt. Liaison to the Board of Safety, the Fire and Police Department, Tom Schmidt. Liaison, liaison to the Wastewater Treatment Plant, Caleb Johnson. Liaison to the Plan Commission, the Board of Zoning and Appeals, Robin Arvanitis. Lake County Solid Waste Management District Appointment, Robin Arvanitis. Planning Commission, NERPC Appointment, Tom Schmidt. Liaison to the Lake Central School Board, Mike Troxell. Liaison to the Lake County Drainage Board, Rob Getzloff. Liaison to the Sherville Chamber of Commerce, Mike Troxell. And on economic, economic development, Jeff Coons and Robert Volkman. Mr. Troxell, would you read a roll call vote? We need a motion. Oh, sorry. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion before our roll call? No. Yes, Madam President. Um, roll call. Um, Mr. Caleb Johnson. We're voting for all of these appointments at once. Is the is the intent? Mm -hmm. um, I guess I vote. Yes. Uh, Councilman Conley. Yes. Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. Councilwoman Arvanitis? I am voting yes, except for the Board of Safety appointments. I will vote present. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, motion carries four to zero. Five to zero. Four to zero on the Board of Safety. Thank you. Do we have any business from the floor? We ask that you limit your comments to three minutes. Is there any business from the floor? Seeing and hearing none, this meeting is adjourned.